I honour the House. Greg Hunt calling it quits at the peak of his political career following a family ultimatum. This is your last chance to be a proper dad. And it's time to come home, Dad. A familiar face of the government's pandemic response stepping down at the next election. Particularly the last two years, I have relied on no one more than Greg to navigate our way through this very difficult time. I thank you on behalf of uh, all who've benefited from your service uh, for your 20 years in public life. A brief respite from a fiery final question time for the year. A disgraceful slur by a grubby opposition. The parliamentary season ending as it began in a heated contest over honour, truth and integrity. Can he confirm that this fortnight the Prime Minister has blamed Labor for his failure to introduce an anti-corruption bill? Wrongly claim he texted he was going on holiday to Hawaii. Yeah. The Prime Minister brushing off the personal and politics. Apparently I go home for Father's Day, I have a holiday with my family, Mr Speaker, and I go to church on a Sunday. Get over it, a lot of Australians do. Hasn't the Morrison-Joyce government lost the ability to govern? Yeah. Yeah. The Prime Minister has a call. No, Mr Speaker. So ends Scott Morrison's worst parliamentary fortnight as Prime Minister. He's had to contend with multiple floor crossings, a legislative agenda upended by vaccine mandate boycotts, and now loses a trusted lieutenant in Greg Hunt. Liberals left wondering if questions of conduct will see Cabinet Minister Alan Tudge follow Christian Porter in quitting politics altogether. Incumbency doesn't seem the advantage it once was at the height of the pandemic. Andrew Probin, ABC News, Canberra.